Hi, hi, Elda. How are you? How are you? <clears throat> fine, fine. Yes. Hello, teacher. Fine. Ooh. Nice to see you. Yes. <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the others, my goodness, what happened mm -hmm. to everybody? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. A ver, cara internet. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine, you. Excellent. Fine, fine. Vamos a ver. Seguimos mis oyentes. Okay. José Alfredo, Lizeth Ayanara, Karen Janet, Reisa. Ya vemos varios. Muy bien. Teacher, good evening. Este, yo acabo de llegar a mi casa y me mojé toda porque aquí en San Sonate está viviendo. Entonces, me voy a bañar y voy a estar ausente ahorita una parte de la clase. Luego me voy a, a incorporar porque me bañé. Hay que bañar. Con agua lluvia, a ver. Y hay que bañarse rapidito, quitarse toda la lluvia para que no le haga daño. Sí, gracias, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. We go here. Mm -hmm. Ready, ready. <gasps> Class 22, we're about to finish. We are about to finish. Monday, we finish. On Tuesday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Monday we finish, on Tuesday you will be able to sleep early. Yes. Vaya, vamos a ver. Sof, Andre, Adriana, Sofía. Present teacher. Nice. Teacher. Hola. Una consulta. Dígame. Me mandaron de inglés corporativo que el principiante 3 lo empezamos el 5. No, si este es el 2. El, no, o sea, el 5 de septiembre. ¿Y qué, le, qué, qué decía la, lo que le dijeron, lo que le mandaron? Es que como a mí me mandan para llenar los papeles y todo eso y mandar las cuestiones, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí decía que la fecha tentativa era el 5 de septiembre. ¿Para quiénes? Para empezar el, el, el otro curso. No. Acuérdese que ayer les mandaron un mensaje. Eh, ustedes no pueden empezar el 5 porque justo terminamos. No hemos terminado. Dice Ajá. que el 12, el que mandaron decía el 12. 
Uh -huh. Ah, ese no lo he visto. Yo vi el que me mandaron para llenar los formularios. En directo. Fíjese que ayer aquí les mandaron uno. Quiero ver. No, este no es. Este lo mandaron. Ayer Dice les... fecha límite 5 de, de, para enviar el. Para enviar los documentos. Los documentos, correcto. Ajá. No, sí decía para, para el que me correo que mandaron a mí, sí decía fecha tentativa para empezar el curso. Pero ¿para qué curso, Carla? Para el intensivo 3, el, el intermedio 3. Medio 3. Sí. No, pero no es posible. Porque Ajá, es, por eso. Sí, porque allí a menos que se les haya olvidado a ellos corregir la fecha, porque nosotros no terminamos el viernes, terminamos Ajá. el lunes. ¿Verdad? Entonces... A lo mucho pues, tendría que empezar el otro curso seis si no fuera a ver ningún día. Pero acá sí. el documento que les mandaron ayer a, aquí, que se lo mandó Jimmy, eh, dice, y ahí viene el, el, la actualización de formulario de inscripción, dice que ya lo enviaron a Recursos Humanos de su empresa. Y dice sí. el límite de inscripción el 5 de septiembre y fecha tentativa de inicio el 12. Mm, quiero ver si es que yo entendí mal. O sea que tienen hasta el 5 para poder mandar la documentación. No, dice, mire, a mí me mandaron fecha límite de inscripción. 29 de agosto de 2022, fecha tentativa de inicio 5 de septiembre. Me lo mandaron hoy, Hazel. Qué extraño. ¿Quién se lo mandó? Hazel. Hazel Cardona. Vaya, escríbale a Hazel y coméntele, Carlita, que ustedes terminan el lunes 5 y que les habían dado... Uh -huh que les habían mandado una información que decía que tenían hasta el, hasta el 5 para mandar los documentos y fecha tentativa de inicio el, el, el 12. Porque sí, yo entiendo que hay muchos cursos que van a empezar el 5, pero los principiantes que terminaron este lunes que pasó, algunos y otros terminaron. Ah. Entonces, no, es que ese correo lo envió desde el 18 de agosto. Ah, ajá. ah pues sí, quizás fue de antes de la fecha que se me fue la luz a mí, que se suspendió, se suspendió una clase, podría ser. Sí. Entonces quizás no, todavía no han corrido la actualización de que, de que, ¿cómo se llama?, de que la clase termina, este curso termina el 5, ¿verdad? Pero sí. yo, de todas maneras voy a consultar, oye, voy a consultar sí. al jefecito para que él me diga que, que, que les acuerde. A mí me hablaron ahora. La expectativa es el 12. El 12. ¿Qué, ¿Qué le dice este José Alberto? ¿Qué, qué? Gracias. Fíjese que a mí me llamaron hoy, uh, llamaron a mi jefa también a oficina para que llenara el formulario, pero no lo han enviado. Entonces, me, porque generalmente lo envían por correo también a la oficina. Uh -huh. Y este, hoy no lo habían enviado, pero me hablaron también por teléfono a mí y me dijeron de que si iba a continuar y que teníamos hasta el cinco para enviar la documentación. Solo sí. les pedí que de favor me enviaran a mí en correo el formulario nuevamente para llenarlo. Ajá. Ay, ya, le, ya, le, ya le voy a mandar un mensajito aquí. Thank you. 
Ya, ya consulté y, y vamos a ver qué nos dicen. Oye, yo voy a estar pendiente y les comento lo que me, lo que me digan para podérselos transmitir a ustedes. Y si no de lo contrario, el día de mañana también ellos estarían comunicándose con ustedes, ¿verdad? Ah, respecto a eso. Porque yo me iría más con la información que le dieron ahora a Alberto. Ay, ah, me dice Alberto que todavía no les han mandado. Ya verificó Alberto la, el link que viene en el mensaje que le mandaron ayer. Ahí viene un link para completar los datos. No, fíjese que no, no he verificado eso. Porque tal vez ese, porque ahí dice adjuntar la planilla de julio. Y hay un... Ajá. Y hay un link. Pero, pero la vez anterior mandaban el correo. Ah, por eso me preguntó mi jefa ahora que si ya lo habían enviado. Y le dije que no. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Pues no. Sí, quizás no tenían actualizado. Le voy a preguntar yo mañana también. Vamos a poner acá también. Envío del correo, ¿verdad? Bueno, perfecto. Yo, yo se los transfiero a ellos porque ellos son los que saben de eso, ¿verdad? Así para que se comuniquen con ustedes. Lo mucho mañana, digo yo. Vaya, vamos a ver. Sí, está bien. Excelente. Gracias, Oyen, por estar pendiente. Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía. Yo la vi por allí. ¿El micrófono? No. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana Grisel. Teacher, volvió a empezar la lista. No. Y voy a, no había empezado. Ay, yo había dicho presen una vez. Ah, Adriana Sofía. Por eso no me contesta. Me llamando. Ya decía yo que yo ya la había visto que por ahí estaba. David. David. Presen, presen. Eh, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present sí. teacher. Sí. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Grace Michelle. Bueno, se está bañando, ¿verdad? Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jennifer. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Y Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Nice. Lisa Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Hi teacher. Deme 45 minutos. Voy saliendo. Yo guarde, pero me va a escuchar de verdad, ¿verdad? Claro que sí, teacher. Ah, bueno. Siempre. Porque todos los que me dicen que van a estar de oyentes no me oyen. Así es que oyente, oye. Vaya, pues. Me voy molestando a Alfredo. No, Alfredo sí oye. 
Vamos a ver a Ana. Ana, Ana, Ana. No está Ana. No, ¿verdad? Ana Grisel, hello. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel, no está. Ok. Bueno, pues, let's continue. Let's begin. Today, eh, we are going to be talking about a different, bueno, not that different. You already know it. You already know it with the difference that eh, we are going to add one more tense here because we were using this structure with simple present and with simple past. Now we will, we are going to use it with the present perfect. I will need all your attention because I know the present perfect has its own difficulty and now you will be using the present perfect in passive, right? Okay, but it's easy, don't worry. Let's see. Passive voice with present perfect tense. That's the topic for today. Passive voice with present perfect tense. As I said before, you already know the passive voice in present and in passive. So today, the only difference is that we are going to add present perfect. Well, let's discuss these questions. Check. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Teacher, excuse me. No, I'm not uh, no, sure, please. Oh, thank you, David. Let's say. Solo la puse en modo presentación. No, thank you, David. Okay, are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Mm? Would a safety program prevent accidents? Remember yesterday we were talking about risks and hazards, right? And you were identifying some risks and some hazards that you may have at your workplace. But some of them, of course, are, are easy to prevent, right? But we were also saying that it is very necessary to have a plan and as a company it is necessary to to rent a plan right so you avoid having injuries between the employees and the last question is what type of rules do you think a safety plan has mm -hmm. are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work you will tell me yes, no, why? If you say no, why not, right? Would a safety program prevent accidents? Talking about the manufacturing plants, right? So um, probably you will tell me, teacher, I do not work in a plant. Or I do not work in a manufacturing plant that you know how they work or you have any idea about the way they work right? Uh, what type of rules do you think a safety plan has? Then you share, right? You share with the class uh, the rules. Okay. Any questions? No question. No. I'm going to make groups of three. I'm sorry. Five groups of three. There we go. Try to join, please. Mm -hmm. If there is a problem that the people in your group are not connected, please call me. Yeah. 
try to join Jennifer. Hello. Hey. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Por ahí va José Alfredo manejando moto. Sí, no. Moto, ¿verdad, José Alfredo? Teacher, no podemos compartir pantalla. Ay, ay no les creo. Ya me van a llamar de por allá. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. No, no, no. David o Rosy, cuando no, cuando no les he dado permiso. Y mi amor, buenas noches. ¿Qué amo? No, mi amor, así no, lo vas a arruinar. Mi amor, Julia, no, 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 no. lo vas a arruinar. I think it's dangerous, teacher, but I... I... In all companies that have these plants, uh, they they have uh, many safety safety measures. Okay, yeah, that's true. They some have right, or you think that all the companies have a, a safety plan? No, no all. In my company, no. And construction companies are the most, uh, how can I say? Well, it um, is very necessary, right? It is very necessary because of the type of accidents that you may have. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's, it's uh, a war very dangerous. All, all day is... Uh, is expuesto exposed they are exposed all day is exposed mm -hmm. uh, uh, one accident yeah yeah because imagine if the people go work without a helmet or with, without tying without protection and in, they are working in very high places that's really really dangerous Yes, definitely. I think the programs uh, can help to 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 prevent accidents. Mm -hmm. In my company, there are programs, preventive programs, preventive programs. For safety. Mm -hmm, definitely. Y Adriana Sofía está por allí. No. Mm. Y aquí estoy. Es que me vinieron a decir buenas noches. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. Okay. We don't work in manufacturing plants and I have never worked. I know, but imagine you have any idea about that? No. Yes. Uh, uh, these are dangerous places to work and it's necessary to have um, security ¿Cómo se dice medidas de seguridad? Safety measures. Safety measures uh -huh. to prevent accidents because um, it's very common and I see I have been seeing mm -hmm. that uh, many of these places has a, a countdown, no, a counting, a count that, that how much they uh, are passed without accidents. And how, how long have they passed without accidents? Los que he visto. 
Ajá. No han tenido más de tres días. <risa> no, no, wait, wait, wait. Ajá. Three days without an accident. To me. Sí. Lo que pasa es cuando, cuando, when you have an accident, they count eh, back to zero. Ajá. So if you didn't have accidents yesterday, you don't have accidents today, you won't ha eh, have accidents tomorrow, you, you eh, they have, eh, They count one day more, one day more, one day more, and plus one every day. But uh, if you uh, if they have accidents, then the count starts in zero again. But I don't understand that count that you mentioned. Es como como una meta que ellos tienen de cuáles son los récords que han pasado con más días sin accidentes. Se van contando los días que no hay accidentes hasta Ajá. que pase alguno. Ajá, entonces es como si cierran un mes, celebran. Ya. Yeah. Ok. <risas> o sea, es que de esa manera es como uy, presionan a la gente para que tengan más cuidado y eviten los accidentes. En mm -hmm. eh, warehouses, eh, here in El Salvador, warehouses or distribution centers, Uh -huh. uh, he used to be used to use this practice as the accident uh, that happened in Ransa uh -huh. that uh, that uh, a boy died. Yeah, because imagine uh, what do you do in your company? What's the what are the type of activities that you do? I am traffic coordinator. I see uh, ex exports and imports. So I I am familiar, see, familiar, said, Fami familiarized. Familiarized with the operations in distribution centers, warehouses, hubs, and terminals like Acajutla port, or Comalapa Airport. Mm -hmm. So these, these accidents are, are very common because they are handling pallets, uh -huh. boxes with high weight and, and big dimensions. So they, they need to- People to have, can hurt their backs, they can fall. Yep. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, dangerous goods, hazardous materials. Mm -hmm. No. So, mm. No poisonous things? No. ¿Cómo? Poisonous things, no. ¿Qué es eso? Poison, venenos. Ah, no se puede manejar veneno en ciertos, en un... Uh, uh, sea freight, yes but you can, you can handle poisons or explosives in air freight. Mm, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. They, I think that this could be um, some rules that they, that they use to, to have a safety plan. You have some safety, mm -hmm. definitely. If you need an air freight, you can you can send or receive explosive materials or poison poison. <laughs> yeah, uh, because imagine uh, if you are in the air and something explodes, it's mm -hmm. or imanis. How do you say imanis? Imanis. Iman. I guess Iman. I was... Iman. Uh huh. You can have you can transport in iron in in airplanes because it interferes with the 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 receptions of the wow I didn't the communication. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I would have thought that you could. Carry well, of course. I know they don't like you to carry soil or plants. 
for food, right? Mm -hmm. That if it is food that you buy at the airport, there is no problem for them. But I didn't know you couldn't take uh, imams. Sí. I've never thought about it. O sea, no todos los tipos de imanes. Hay unos imanes que sí se pueden poner porque son chiquitos o la, la intensidad es, es menor. Pero hay imanes industriales o imanes que se ocupan para, para precisamente para aviones o barcos que no se pueden. Yeah, because they can, uh -huh. they can stop, right? The, 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 yeah. the work of the machine. Yes. Okay. Well, I very interest, interesting, 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 definitely. Interesting. I let you continue. The... How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hay gente por allí con usted. Está solita. No, uh, Victor, uh, Rebecca. Okay. Um, Adriana. We was discussing, teacher, about the... We were. <laughs> we were. Sorry. And then diciendo, we was desde ya ratitos. Yes. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> como que we were. We were. <laughs> okay. It's because I only speak in first person. I was, I was, I was. I was, sí. <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. We were discussing. We were discussing about um, some type of rules. What rules? Of the safety measures. Yes. We were talking with my classmates. There are some rules in a company since you are going. Uh -huh. For example, you for example you must walk to for only for the indicated song. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and if you are going in going into a manufacturing company, you must leave you must leave the watch, necklace, rings. Some other jewels that you must not. You must not use. Mm -hmm. You must not use them. Yes. For example, that for example. And Nubia was talking about something too. Uh, comments, uh, Nubia. Nubia and Hola. In the um, manufacturing plant, the people use that. Equipment, security equipment, for example, um, um, rubber boots, earplugs, um, gloves, glasses. Mm -hmm. um, the people know the machine, don't use. Um, the people focus in the work. Uh -huh. In what type of work, in what they do? And when the people use the machine, they are focused in the work for uh, evitar Accidents, avoid accidents. Mm -hmm. They work in, in with that purpose to avoid accidents. Mm -hmm. Okay. If trine you it. are not trying, trying it, trying it, yes. Ah, sí, trying it, train, yes, train, 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 
Train. 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 Okay. Train. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the rules. Mm. Okay, vamos a ver. One moment, please. I think, I think. ¿Cómo se dice agarrando señal? <laughs> ¿Cómo? Getting signal. Getting signal. Okay. Okay, Rose. And you are responsible. You are responsibility, ¿verdad? No. Responsibility. Responsibility. Uh -huh. Is the. <coughs> in the, the espérate, 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 espérate. Quitarle responsa. You are responsible, right? Responsible. Yes, teacher. Responsible. Okay. Responsible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Responsible for your. For, for your. your. Mm -hmm. Own safety. Mm -hmm. huh? Own safety. Own W. Responsible for your own safety. Yes. Own. O W N. Ah. O W N. O -W -N. Safety. Uh -huh. And safety. Continue. And, and safety. And the safety of others. And safety. Uh, and. Uh -huh. And safety. Safety. Te faltó la D. In the, in the um, and safety. I'm um, um, safety. No, I'm the safety. I'm the safety mm -hmm. of of others. Mm -hmm. Of others. Okay. Yes. Suficiente. Mm. No seguimos. No, no. Ya creo que es suficiente. Okay. That's finished. Hacele, hacele un poquito más grande para poder capturar la pantallita. La letra. Sí. Voy a intentar. No te prometo. Ay. <risa> of course you can do it. The next. The next. Pero es que no la otra, nombre. la otra es, es la otra que es la parte. Es para hacerlo más grande. Sí. Ya ves, ya ves. Simple. <risa> Como me dijo por ahí un teacher, keep it simple. <risa> Haz las cosas sencillas. Keep simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Es... Keep simple. Keep simple. Yeah. Ok. Keep simple. Identify pedestrian crossing. Crossing. Sí, está bien así, teacher. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Crossing. Crossing. Crossing with double S. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, si usted quiere, le armamos un plan de seguridad. Dicho. Definitivamente. <risa> de Tenemos experiencia en eso. Y Rosy, Nos cambió. No, es que Rosy se había salido. Vaya. Ya la jalé, digo yo. <risa> no sé si la mandé para otra parte. <risa> ya vimos, sí. No, no. Diego está aquí, Elisette. Es que no sé qué le pasó a Rosy porque estaba afuera. Se le fue el Inter, quizá. Uh -huh. Ay, es que chistoso, espere. Estamos en el 4, la mandé al 5. Ya la traigo. Oh, 
por qué te va, Rosy. Yo qué sé, la teacher me manda a saber. No, que conste que yo la recogí ahí afuera. <ríe> en el... Ah, no, Rosy. Okay. Rosy, no, no, remember. No he tocado nada, no he tocado nada. Remember, Rosy. Salió. Don't take shortcuts. Allá me, la, allá me la encontré y según yo este era el grupo 5, entonces la mandé para el 5. Después me dice uh -huh. David y Rosy, pero la acabo de mandar para otra parte, pero la hay allá afuera. Oh, no, aquí estábamos y yo estaba escribiendo con David. No, 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 pero de repente ustedes se desapareció. Ah, pero no toqué nada yo. El solito me mandó quizá. No. Remember, Rosy, no, don't take shortcuts. <risa> don't take shortcuts. Imagine, vaya al safety plan, David, para que no vaya Rosy. Uh -huh. aprovechando, puedo aprovechar algo, no, decirle algo, no. Aproveche, pues. Es que fui que estoy preocupada porque el lunes es el último día de clase. ¿El lunes? Sí. Ajá. Y yo pensaba que era viernes. Y el lunes voy a tratar la manera de conectarme, dice, porque me preocupa la, la encuesta, pero yo no voy a estar acá. No sé si me voy a poder conectar o qué voy a poder hacer. Yo le voy a... Rosy es internacional. Le voy a confirmar el jueves a qué horas vamos a llenar la encuesta para que se conecte, aunque sea en ese ratito. Oye, okay. por si no le dieran los datos para toda la clase, para que se lograra conectar, aunque sea en el ratito en que llenemos la encuesta. Sí, sí, no sé, bueno, espero sí tener señal y poder conectarme. En el cell phone. Ajá. No, ajá, por eso, pero es que no voy a estar en el país, teacher, y no sé si me va a dar el room para allá. ¿Y qué va para la jungla, pues? ¿Para <ríe> República Dominicana? Sí, hombre, allá también. Sí, da, bueno. Más que nosotros. Bueno. Okay. 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 Teacher, yo, yo tengo otra pregunta. Está más fuerte, le va a pedir el internet ese día. <ríe> yo voy a dar la clase. <ríe> okay. Yo tengo una, una pregunta, sí, y aprovechando la, el paréntesis. Dice que estas dos, estas dos semanas yo he estado bien con el tema del tráfico y el trabajo ha estado bien como saturado y no me ha dado chance. Ya me estoy poniendo al día con las clases. Sí. Pues ayer mencionó de que yo no me recordaba que el lunes sí. había, había recogido notas. Uh -huh. Yo era uno de los ceros porque yo no había trabajado nada en la unidad 3. Ahorita ya voy avanzado. Solo me voy, creo que en la última fase de la unidad 3 y comienzo la unidad 4. Ah, Mi pregunta ah, es si no me va a afectar. Viernes voy a actualizar la unidad 3, porque ahorita lo voy a dejar así para que terminen todos de ponerse al día. Okay. Viernes voy a actualizar la unidad 3, porque sí, yo la recogí el lunes, vea. Uh -huh. Pero, es uh -huh, sí, porque ya mañana es jueves, así terminan de ponerse al día. Yo voy a pasar revisando el viernes para okay. recoger la unidad 3 y el sábado por la tarde voy a andar recogiendo la 4, esperando el Excelente, bueno, para eso entonces para, me pongo que, en línea entre hoy y mañana. Sí, para que así tengan el sábado en la mañana para ponerse al día. Va, ya listo. si el lunes yo ya doy una revisada rapidita y es más fácil. Bueno, no. Copiado. Ajá, el lunes en la noche. Enterado entonces, no hay me problema. Gusta, me gusta dejar actualizado este, los datos en la noche. Mejor. Ok. Que... Así si se va la luz el martes en la mañana y yo ya estoy. Sí. Ya, está ya duerme un poquito más, ¿verdad, teacher? También. No creas, si me quedo recogiendo notas, no duermo más, pero más tranquila sí, porque ya estoy al día. Uh -huh. Y el martes me voy a ir bien temprano, tengo un examen. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, ya a las seis tengo que estar en el seguro. Es más que el seguro. Ajá, entonces mejor no, mejor recojo las cosas el lunes en la noche para irme ya en paz. Está bien, ya le colaboramos. No se preocupe. Sí, así tiene, tiene el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Todo el fin de semana para terminar. Ah, pero sí, ver, entre hoy y mañana estamos terminando. Eso, muy bien. Yo creo que we finish, ¿verdad? Ya sí, ya Gracias. Let's go.
ok ok finish finish I would like to hear a couple of volunteers who will be my volunteers. Volunteers, victims, a ver, question number one. Will be my volunteer. Mm -hmm. Only one to start. Va ah, pues democráticamente, ¿verdad? Pero sí. <risa> <risa> democráticamente. No democráticamente, sino que democráticamente. Vaya, Rosy, tell us. Question number one, ya les. Me imagino, teacher. Bueno. Can... Are manufacturing plants dangerous place to work? I think. If they are dangerous because there are many risks of accidents. Mm -hmm. Like what type of accidents do you think could happen in a manufacturing plant? Mm, false. Um, accident with how do you say herramientas? Uh -huh. Tools. Accidents are different. Imagine the people that cut their fingers, right? When they are operating different machines. Mm -hmm. So that, that. Cut the finger, cut the hand. Yes. Would a safety program prevent accidents? Me, teacher. Okay. One of the rules. Accidents. What accidents? No, would would a safety <laughs> <laughs> ah, está igual que mi teacher. Que me está trabajando la lengua. Would a, es bien muerta la lengua. Would a safety program prevent accidents? What do you yes. Mean? Yes. Yes. Okay, for example, what type of accidents are preventable? Mm. <clears throat> in the program prevent accidents you write that rules mm -hmm. for a bit accident or um, how how the people use the machine and the equipment right yes and equipment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember yesterday uh, somebody was mentioning that there should be or there are punishments for the people who do not use the equipment just because they don't want to waste time wearing the equipment. And of course, the equipment it can save lives, right? Okay, what type of rules do you think a safety plan has, David? Okay, teacher. Um, uh, what type of rules do you think a safety plan is the Use of personal protective equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, identify the emergent exit. Uh, follow the instructions, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, 
think one the important is if you are not trying it, don't not, don't do it. In the last, uh, the equipment that is dangerous, right? With the tools. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the last, uh, is the you are responsible for you on safety and the safety of, of others. Yeah, you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of others. I like that one. Yes. Right? Because yesterday, I remember we were talking about a one risk in the office could be somebody connecting the computer or any other equipment far from where they are and the wire of the computer or the machine they are using is crossing all the room and somebody can walk and trip on that and fall, right? Or imagine uh, somebody has a pencil, right, or a pen, and the pen falls in the middle of the, of the way or in the middle of the room. That something very little like a pen or a pencil can provoke a serious accident too. Because a person can go walking, stand up on the pencil, slip or trip, and fall, keep his head, or keep his arm, keep his leg, right? That's another- Teacher, the cell phone too. The cell phones too. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're using an, an, a tool, right? A dangerous tool and you're using the, the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Take a selfie. <laughs> Taking a selfie, I'm cutting something. Well, you can cut something else. Yeah, definitely. I am. I remember. Uh, I don't. I don't have anybody here at home. But I remember just a couple of days we hired a person to come and, and and help me clean the house and do a couple of things. But I remember that she could never leave the phone. She was always with the phone. She was. Uh, sweeping she was mopping or cleaning but she was with the phone talking or listening to something but with the phone on her hand and then i was going to make tortillas and she said can i i can help you and i said like okay but imagine not even to make the tortilla she never left the phone and i was like because you know cell phones are dirty Right, cell phones are dirty. I, I am always cleaning my phone with alcohol because a cell phone is dirty and making the tortillas and with the phone in her hand all the time. But that is, uh, as you say, Nubia, one responsibility to take, right? And to know that the phone, it can provoke an accident, right? So. That, that will be, a, that should be part of the safety plan, right? Something that prohibits the use of fun in the workplace, especially when you are manipulating uh, some equipment that can be dangerous. I want to hear one more person here, Rebecca, Marcela. Choose the question that you want to answer, Rebecca. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. A question. Yes. But there, what type of role do you think a safety, safety plan has? Um, in the group, we were uh, we were say about the about the equipment necessary, safety equipment necessary, and instructions for to for to work for to work 
Excel, Excel for for the groups. For example, you said turno nocturno and diurno. So you would mean not having social long uh, schedule, like the shift, not too long. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Definitely, if somebody that is very tired and is working and manipulating equipment is in risk of having an accident. Mm -hmm. Or driving, imagine you're driving a machine or a lift and moving things in, the, in, the, in a store, you can finish dropping everything, right? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Rebecca. Now let's go to the conversation here. Um, here we have a, a, a conversation between employees in a, at a manufacturing plant. And they are talking about the new company safety measure plan. Imagine new. So that means that this company probably didn't have a safety measure plan or the one that it had was not so good that they had to improve it, right? And they had to get a new one. Well, ready for the conversation? Since Jean, have my safety Googles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles, your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those? measures about. You're required to wear ear protection gloves, ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay, now it's time that you repeat after me. G, have my safety Googles been stolen? G, have my safety Googles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. I don't, I don't see, see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. Your Googles, Your Googles, Googles have, have been taken been away. away. There are new safety measures in the plant. There are new, there are new, new safety measures in the plant. plant. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. What are these measures about? What are you are required to wear ear protection. You are required to gloves, gloves, reflective vest, reflective vest, protection belt, protection belt, helmet, helmet. helmet. Jacket, jacket, rubber boots, rubber boots, earplugs, ear 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 store tools, store tools, tools improper tools, improper location. location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here were have been taken away. So, so my Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit the by the tool room. Yes, yes. yes. the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit the tool room. Excellent. Now, I'm Joel and you are Diego. D, 
have my safety goggles been stolen? Hmm, I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have the Google been, have taken, been away. taken away. There are no there safety are measures, measures in the class. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You, you are required to wear air protection, protection gloves, protective vests, protection gloves, helmet, so my books and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. Yes. Now you are Joel and I'm going to be Diego. Ready? One, two, three, go. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the planet. You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest. Protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, ear store tools in proper location. So, so my goals and the tools I left here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit the scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay, great. Do you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Pronunciation teacher. Mm -hmm. Pro, pro, pro prohibit. Prohibit. Pro prohibit. Prohibit. Prohibited. Prohibited. Mm -hmm. That's prohibited. E Scattered. Scattered. This one? Yeah. Scattered. Scattered. Googles. Google. In this situation, what it mean? Google son los que se ponen en los, en los ojitos para protegerse. Por ejemplo, si va a cortar algo, se va a tirar algo a los ojos, se pone Google to protect okay. them. Mm -hmm. So you have the ear protection, the gloves, a reflective vest, a belt, a protection belt, a helmet, a jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, serían como ear protection, right? And the store tools, so many other things that you may be using in the, in the store. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Measures? Measures, measures. Store tools, teacher. Store tools serían otras herramientas que puedan usar en la tienda. Tools son herramientas. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more questions. No. Yay. <laughs> Basha, uh, I'm going to send you now to the rooms. You will practice, let me see. Yeah, we will call attendance first, right? And then I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go practice the conversation and answer the questions. Let's see. Uh, Adriana, Sofia. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. 
Diego, Diego. Y Ana Grisel. A ver, ¿dónde está? Diego, 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 tampoco. Ok. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. No. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Ok, ya fresquita, vea. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne, Ivonne. Me pareció verla hace un ratito. Ivonne, hello. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica. José Alberto. Present teacher. Present. No me contesten con el nombre de otro. Yo dije, me cambió de voz, Alberto. No. Ahorita yo no sé. Qué barbaridad, Alberto. ¿Qué anda haciendo que le cambia la voz? Y boom, bacha. Karen Janet. Karen, Karen. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Dice Dayanara. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present. Present teacher. Rosa. Present teacher. Otra vez. <laughs> present, present. <laughs> no, Rebecca dijo. <laughs> Qué barbaridad, yo di Rebeca, ¿por qué está tan ronca? <risa> Ay, no. Ustedes, qué barbaridad, nada, haciendo cambiar la voz al compañero. <risa> Todavía no llego, Víctor, ya casi. Vaya, Rebeca, sí, ¿verdad, Rebeca? Sí, yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Rosy. Yes. Presente, teacher. Okay. Víctor. Present. Hoy sí, hoy sí, Victor. Karen Stephanie. Here, Karen Stephanie. No. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Y Bon, ¿verdad? ¿Quién más está por aquí? Quiero ver. Elmer. Elmer, 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 no, ¿verdad? ¿En mi t-shirt? ¿Quién mi? Nubia. No, no, ya no me digas que me la salté. Eh, no, la mencioné antes de Rebeca. ¿O no? Ah, de verdad. Ah, pues estoy loca. <ríe> Ay, no. Es que con eso de que todos cambiaban de voz, estaba triste. Ay, no. Vaya, Elmer no, ¿verdad? No here, Elmer. En no here, Ana Grisel. Eh, Diego. Edwin, Edwin. Is Edwin here? No. No, Edwin. Ivonne, sí. Y Karen, Stephanie. Karen no tenía internet, dijo Karen. Bueno, ahí está. Ok, vámonos. Pues. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go practice the conversation. And then when you, well, practice the conversation and answer the questions, right? When you come back, we are going to practice, uh, to work with the passive voice. A ver. You are 19. Bueno, 
see. Nice, nice. There you go. Try to join. No me sale a mí, teacher. Ay, a mí tampoco, no teacher. Terry. <ríe> <risa> Sorry, va a creer. Ay, no, 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 no. Ya no, ya, ya, ya está al tour. <risa> no le he dado a abrir. Ay, sorry. Bye, now. <risa> now you can join. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Chequen. Sí, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Sí. Nice, nice. Si su compañero no aparece, aquí lo voy a estar mirando. Oye. Let's see. Hmm. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Pues sí le aparece, Carlita. Si no le aparece la, la llamo. Ahí está. I don't uh, anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are no safety measures in the plane. You have to go to the kingdom. What are, what are those uh, measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear gloves, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around. Hi, hi. Yvonne, hello. Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Hi. How are you? Fine. Todavía algo malito. Sí, así la oigo. Ya me la voy a llevar a otro room para que por lo menos se escuche hoy. Sí, por favor, gracias, teacher. Porque así no puede estar hablando. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? Plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, Jacket, rubber boots, air plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools, tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to provide scattered tools outside the tool room. Ok. Ahora si gusta comience usted. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, G, help me say. Hi, Grace. Hello. Hello, hello. Lizette. Hi, teacher. Lizeta Yanara, hello. Hi, hi. No sale Z y nada, entonces. Ah, me la voy a llevar, Grace. Ok, teacher. Ok. 
<clears throat> okay. Uh, do you want to practice again or answer the questions? Uh, answer the question. Okay. Uh, the first one is what items is Joel looking for? Is Jose Alfredo here? In the plant. Yes. Ah, bye. Yes, teacher. Okay. So you've got to be kidding. What are those meals about? Do I require to wear a protection glove, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location? So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan the new safety plan has been designed to provide escape tools outside the tool room. Oh, teacher. Yeah. The pronunciation and the scattered last paragraph scattered. prohibit catered. Pro prohibited. 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 Prohibit. 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 In the next is cutters or is cutter 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 yeah. okay prohibit um prohibited scattered to prohibit prohibit is cutter okay. um you are Joel Carla G how my safety googles being being stolen, I don't see them anywhere. Oh, your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet jacket, rubber boots, air plugs, store tools, and proper location. So my rules and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been has been designed to prohibit skater tools outside the tool room. What it is is Joel looking for? The Google's the Google's the Google's it is uh huh. My look safety Google's Google -less. is being stolen robado stolen sí stolen Vaya, now you can answer the questions. And maybe they don't they don't know where's the tools if they if they don't have a proper location to for it. Mm -hmm.
Yes. That, that. Yeah, please. No olviden el subject because they can. <clears throat> Teacher, in the answer is a because they cool. Okay, a cow. How do you say that? Vaya, quítenle an porque como accidents está en plural. Mm. Uh -huh. They can cause accidents. The employees can't find the tools if they don't have a proper location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can use because they can. Or oh, they could. No, they can. Porque es press. Sí. Ah, ok. They can. Porque en ese caso, could no sería para hablar. Así como cuando decimos, usemos que para ser más polite. Sino uh -huh. que estaría siendo usado como possibility. Y ahí entonces, uh -huh. eh, could estaría siendo pasado. Ah, ok. Ya toda la panza marca. Uh -huh. They can just okay. <clears throat> we finished teaching. Solo voy a ver un grupo más y nos. Finish, right? Yes. Let's Finish. go, Jen. Let's go. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Missing thirty two seconds. Mm -hmm. Fifteen seconds. A ver, let's go to question number one. Nice. Si mi mouse tiene vida propia. Nice. What items is Joel looking for? He's looking for his goggles. Mm -hmm. What is the new safety measure about? That all the tools have to be in the tool room. Okay, new safety measure about keeping the things in a location, uh, having a special location, right? For keeping things. In your opinion, in your opinion, in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Because why? could be higher. They can be. Hide there? Hide them? Like a store bar? Oh. No, they can cause an accident. Yeah. They, uh -huh, they can cause. Because they can cause accidents. They can cause accidents. 
Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Another reason? Another reason? Because they are a risk for the employees? Definitely, they are a risk. Okay, very good. Now, we will talk about our structure that you could see in the conversation, right? You have, have my safety goggles been stolen? Uy, que recta me vaya. Have, have, have my safety goggles been stolen? Present perfect. Your goggles have been taken away. Your goggles have been taken away. If you remember, the structure of the present perfect is have plus the verb in past participle, right? That's the structure. So when we use a, if you use, look at here, passive voice, I'm going to put the verb to be in the present perfect. That's the verb to be in the present perfect. Remember present perfect is have, right? That's the structure of the present perfect. Have or has, depending on the structure, on the subject, right? Have or has, and then the verb in the past participle. So when we are using the, the passive voice, remember that we said that what we change is the verb to be. The other verb will always be in the past participle, but we will be changing the passive, the, the verb to be. Remember when we were saying, or when we were using the simple past, you say the house was painted. So if I was talking about the simple past, my verb to be was in past. But in this case, as I'm using the present perfect, the verb to be will be in present perfect, right? And the present perfect will be have, the auxiliary have or has, and the verb in past participle. So I put the verb to be in past participle. And I say have been, and the other verb should be in past participle. So I say have been taken. Your goggles, have been taken. They have been taken. Yes. They have been taken. They have taken away. This is passive or active. What type is the second sentence? Hmm? You see, your Googles have been taken is passive sentence, and they have taken the Googles is active sentence. Remember uh, that we use the passive voice when we want to emphasize the action that was done, know who did the action. While in the passive, in the active sentence, what is important is who did the action? And that's why we, sh we always have a subject, right? They have taken your Googles. So what is important? The doer. Here, what is important? The action. Not who did the action, but the action itself. Yes? Now, check the second sentence. Remember, we have, I'm going to add a page here. So if I say, 
they have planted many trees, right? They have planted many trees. That is a normal sentence that we would use, but that is active sentence. They have planted many trees. My subject, they, my object, many trees. Yes. And my verb have planted. That means that my verb is in passive voice, right? It's in present perfect, sorry. I have my sentence in present perfect. So when I'm going to change this sentence from active to passive, I will take the object of the sentence, that is many trees, pass it to the other side because the object, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence, right? Then, as my verb is in present perfect, I have to be the verb to be in present perfect, and that is have been, and I use the other verb in the past participle, that will be planted. Remember that regular verbs have the same, past simple is the same past participle, right? So remember, this is my subject, right? And this is my object. So if I say that the subject of the past of the active sentence becomes the object of the passive, tendría que ir aquí, ¿verdad? Pero como they, ¿quién es they? Who knows? In that case, I will not have an agent. Recuerdan que el que nosotros ponemos aquí al final con by es el agent. Unless I change here and I say, mm, vamos a inventarnos un nombre de una compañía que no existe. Mm. Matter the matter company I say the matter company le vamos a cambiar a has yeah. the matter company has planted many trees hoy oh, si yo ya tengo un object para poner acá. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I say, remember, the subject of the active sentence, this is all the subject of the active sentence, becomes the object of the passive. And the object of the active becomes the subject of the passive. Did I say switch? And as I see the form of the verb, it's present perfect, by right? The tense, present perfect. I put the verb to be in present perfect and the other verb in past participle. Is that clear? Do you remember now? Sí. No? Remember, we did this last week with the simple past. The only difference is que allá era más fácil solo decir was, was o where, ¿verdad? Pero acá recuerden, el, el present perfect es e o a. So you say he estado, right? He estado. Acuérdense que el present, el, el verbo to be es ser o estar, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso sería ha sido. Yo no puedo decir ha estado. Many trees han sido cortados. 
right? Many trees and sido cortados. That's the passive for the present perfect. Let's do another example. If we go for, vamos a usar otro verbo que no sea regular. Pedro, vamos a poner el subject in real. Pedro has eaten all the food. Then I have my subject is Pedro, right? My object is all the food. Lo primero que yo tengo que hacer es identificar cuál es el subject y cuál es el object. All the food is my object. Pedro is my subject. Entonces recuerden, el so, the object, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive. And then you say, all the food has been, el verbo to be, ¿en qué forma va el verbo to be? ¿En qué tense? Present. In present perfect. Yeah, by present perfect. Acuérdense que el present perfect dijimos que se forma por have has, depende del subject, ¿verdad? Que están usando. Have has y el verbo to be en pasado participio. El pasado participio es, es remember, ser o estar, sido o estado, ¿verdad? And then you say, ¿por quién? Como yo ya sé por quién, I say by Pedro. All the food has been eaten by Pedro. ¿Quién se comió la comida? ¿Mm? ¿Quién se comió? Pedro. So, all the food has been eaten by Pedro. Como yo sé quién se la comió, voy a ocupar lo que conocemos como agent. El agent es el que a mí me ayuda a identificar el que ha hecho la acción. ¿Sí? Then you say, remember, the subject of the active becomes the object of the passive. And the object of the active becomes the subject of the passive. Yes. That's switch. Fiche. Hola. Ah, aquí me caí el verbo. Ah. Ah, ya no. Ya. Sí, ya. Me preguntar. Ay, el verbo. Tengo hambre. Va, ahí está. ¿Verdad? Me comí el verbo. Vaya. Then you say, the... Very good. Muy bien, muy bien. Eso significa que estamos poniendo atención. Ok. Then you say, all the food has been eaten. Eaten. Uh -huh. Tenemos el verbo to be en present perfect. Y el otro verbo en paz parecido. ¿Sí? Entonces, lo que tienen que hacer siempre, el que cambia es el verbo to be. Hablamos en presente, usted va a usar is o are. Si su subject es singular, va a usar is. Si su subject es plural, va a usar are. Si hablamos del simple past, y ahí el otro verbo siempre en paz parecido, ¿verdad? Si hablamos de past, el verbo to be va a ir en present, digo en past, y el otro verbo en past parece. Pues puede usar was o were, dependiendo del subject, si es singular o plural. Y en este caso, si usamos el present perfect, check it. The subject is plural, I use have. The subject is singular, I use has. ¿Sí? And then you say like that, all the food has been eaten by bed. Now, look at this. In the present perfect form with the passive, we always use has or have y el been. Perdón, no olviden el been. El been siempre va a ir allí. Y el otro verbo en past participle form. 
And here we have some examples. The employees, mire, have been trained. The reports have been written. Past participle, past participle. Don't forget the past participle of the regular verbs is similar to the past simple. El mismo. Past simple, past participle for the regular verbs. For the irregular, no. But in the case of the irregular, it changes. Have, check if you're making a question. Have the candidates been interviewed? Have the candidates being interviewed, the applications can be negative to have been checked. Y se acuerdan que en el present perfect usamos yet, ¿verdad? Para negative sentences. Aquí en passive, igual. The applications have been checked, haven't been checked yet. The applications haven't been checked yet. Have you been introduced to the new manager? Have you been introduced to the new manager? See, ¿Sí? any question here? Pero en este caso, teacher, usted está hablando de oraciones, de preguntas y oraciones normales, ¿verdad? No, normales. Esa es la diferencia. No son normales, están en pasivo. Sí, sí, disculpe, solo me refería a que la diferencia entre las primeras dos y las tres últimas es que las tres últimas son, perdón, la, hay dos preguntas. A lo que voy es a la, a la redacción, sí. have you, have sí, they, sí. Have eh, she. Sí, lo único que cambia, como en toda pregunta, es que el auxiliar va al principio. Uh -huh. That's the only thing. Uh -huh. That you put the auxiliar at the beginning. Then uh -huh. the subject y después el verbo. Eso sí quiere hacer una pregunta en paz. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Have the letters been sent? Has your hair been cut? Si quiere hacer una pregunta. ¿Verdad? Pero si lo que quiere hacer es una oración afirmativa, va a ir. Y esta que es negativa, ¿verdad? Solo le pone la apostrofe en, en apostrofe T. Yeah. O sea que si, if I want to understand what is the meaning, los empleados han sido entrenados. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí, ahí lo que tiene que ver usted es eh, como, como el verbo tuviese o estar. ¿Verdad? A la hora de, de la hora, ¿qué es lo que el bin significa? Si cero, estar, o han sido o han estado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En el... Teacher, ¿Sí? eh, en el ejemplo anterior, usted mencionó que el verbo irregular cambia, uh -huh. pero no cambiaba. Uh -huh. En no cambió. Veamos. Este. Ajá. Sí. Que cuando nosotros usamos el presente perfecto, el presente perfecto está formado por el auxiliar have o has y el otro verbo en paz parece. Lo que les comentaba que cambia es el pasado simple con el pasado participio, que es, que no es el mismo. Ah, o sea, pero solamente en, en, en el verbo to be, el otro verbo no va a cambiar, siempre va a quedar igual. Vaya, ahorita porque la estructura que estamos utilizando es present perfect. Uh -huh. Sí, pero lo que yo necesito que ustedes vean es que este verbo siempre va a ir en past participle cuando estamos usando pase. Siempre. Entonces, por lo tanto, acá, aunque el plante sea igual en pasado simple, eso es lo que le decía, los verbos regulares. En pasado, en pasado y en pasado participio son iguales. Y le explico eso para que no se me vayan a confundir y digan, ah, pero es que aquí se puso el pasado. No, no es el pasado simple, es el pasado participio. Pero en el caso de los verbos regulares, 
el pasado simple y el pasado participio es el mismo. Pero si hablamos de verbos irregulares, el pasado simple es uno y el pasado participio es otro. En ese contexto es que se los estaba diciendo. Ya, 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 ya. Okay, ya. Pero en este caso estamos usando el present perfect, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, el verbo que usted está ocupando acá siempre va a ser pas parísipo. De prueba dice, Pedro has eaten, no has ate. Porque si no, sería como Pedro ha comió. ¿Verdad? Y con el pasado participio estamos usando la terminación ido, ado. Ha comido, ha ido, ha dormido, ha planeado, ¿verdad? Y cuando usted lo cambia a passive voice, este siempre va a ser a, pero ya se nos va el, el verbo to be, que sería el sido, ha sido comido, ¿sí? Toda la comida ha sido comida, ¿sí? Todo, eh, muchos árboles han sido plantados, ha sido, y el otro verbo siempre en paz parece, ¿sí? que igual sería con la terminación ido, habla. El, 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 por lo que nos suena así un poco raro es porque nosotros en español muy poco utilizamos el passive voice en present perfect. Bueno, de hecho, muy poco se utiliza el present perfect en español. Usted no dice yo, yo ya he comido, usted dice yo ya comí, ¿verdad? Pero en, en inglés usted diría I have already eaten. ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, por eso es que esta estructura hay yo, yo que les cuesta un poquitito más porque no, util, no se utiliza mucho el present perfect en español. Nosotros hablamos mucho en pasado. Hablamos en pasado y presente, pero no en present perfect. El plus cuan perfecto no lo ocupamos mucho, ¿verdad? Sino que ocupamos más el simple past o el simple present o el future. Pero esa sería la, la traducción acá. All the food o toda la comida ha sido comida. Muchos árboles han sido plantados o han, y si fuera cut han sido cortados entonces siempre iría el ha sido o ha estado por ejemplo si usted dice eh, the children have been busy han estado ocupados ya veamos otros ejemplos acá You say, people have collected the woods. Este es active. Cuando usted cambia, the woods, pasa para acá, have been collected. ¿Por quién? People es, es un, 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 como decir, un objeto demasiado general. Para poner, the woods have been collected by people. ¿Quién es people? ¿Quién sabe? Puede ser cualquiera. Entonces, cuando nosotros... No tenemos un, un algo claro de quién ha hecho la acción, no se pone, ¿verdad? Porque como les comentaba, en el passive voice lo que importa es la acción que fue hecha, no quién la hizo. Mientras que en, en active voice es importante quién hizo la acción. Aquí no, es importante la acción, no quién la hizo. Por eso muchas veces usted ve oraciones que no tienen un object, sino que solo subject. Now look at this one. He has been taken to see the president. He has been, has, este es has. No es is, ¿verdad? Es sino que has. He has been taken to see the president. Sara has been promoted. Sara has been promoted two times in her career. Y usamos el present perfect porque todavía podría ser promovida una vez más. ¿Sí? The waste products have been left here since last February. The waste products have been left. Han sido dejados. Right? Now. Um, aquí vamos a ver. If you still have any questions, aquí van a salir. 
uh, choose the correct option, have the invitations, which would be the best option to complete the question? Have the invitations. Hmm? Vincent. Vincent. Vincent, yes. Have the invitations been sent yet? Yes, and the flowers? Have been ordered. Order. Order. Have been ordered. Yeah, and the flowers have been ordered. The restaurant? Has been booked. Has been booked. 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 What is booked? Reservar. Reservado, exactly. Have some hotel rooms. Be reserved. Being reserved to question. Aquí está el have hoy. Que no diga y el have teacher ahí no lleva así, pero es que es pregunta, entonces ya está acá. Have some hotel rooms being reserved to yes. My dress. Has been made. Has been made. My dress has been made too. I love it. And our honeymoon. Has been, has been organized. Has been organized. Has been organized. Mm -hmm. has been organized. Very good. Any questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. Ahí está. The last activity. Look at the sentences. Remember, uh, what you're going to do is complete them using past voice. And you can choose between the verbs here to complete the sentence. Let's see the first one. Three new safety measures have been, have been innovate. Uh, create. Create. Sí. Created. Have been created. O giving. ¿Qué le gusta más? ¿Mm? Created. Created. Vaya pues. A ver, go for number two. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. No los mando a los rooms porque solo en irnos se nos va a ir el tiempo. ¿verdad? We have been mm -hmm. make no vamos a ponerlo aquí con mejor con la computadora para que quede más bonito. A ver, we have been give, given. We have been given. Mm -hmm. We have been given new earplugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another, the new safety Googles are nice. They, they have been innovate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have been innovated. Yes. They have been innovated. What about number four? The new steel two boots have been making of genuine letter. Ah, vale, el past participle. They make. Past participle. Made. Made. Okay. Have been made. 
the new steel two boots have been made of genuine leather. Uh -huh. And here. Number five. It's a question. Uh -huh. How do you make questions? Have the new safety officer been? Quantos officers? One. One. Has, has the new safety. Has, see, has the new safety officer, officer been trained? Trained. Been trained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is have has the new safety officer been trained? Good. What about the next the next one? The last one? Have, have, have we, we been has we or have we? Have. have 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 we very good. Have we have we had issues with the new helmet? Mm -hmm. Victor, Victor, Victor. Uh huh. Have we? Have we? Have we been? Mm. Have we been? Que? Have we been? <laughs> Have we been? Have we been? Have we been issues with the new helmet? What is issue? Problemas? Dificultades con el nuevo helmet? No. Casco? En ese caso, usted preguntaría, do we have issues? Uh -huh. Ah, pues, have we been given the new helmet? Okay. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver if issue nos dirá un significado diferente. A subject of problem that people are thinking and talking about. Most important in what is being discussed, make an issue of something to make something seem more important than it is that it should be. Take issue. Have an issue. Mm -hmm. To disagree strongly. Have issues with someone to have difficulty or disagreement with someone. Mm -hmm. Vean si hay alguno que puedan usar con issue. ¿Cuáles cambiarían? Because we have to use all of them, right? Pues, yo solo ahí lo podría asociar porque Mm -hmm. Or oh, has the new safety officer been no issues? No. Mm -hmm. I think the last one. Tiene un nuevo significado de issue. Check it. Issue, noun. O sea, issue es un noun, product. A set of newspapers or magazines published at the same time 
or a single copy of a newspaper or magazine. An issue of shares is a time when a company gives people the chance to buy part of it or gives extra shares to oh, already one. Issue, to produce or provide something of fish. Ese es el significado que nos sirve a nosotros. Check. To produce or provide something official. En este caso, issue no es un noun, sino que es un verbo. ¿A dónde nos podría servir issue? Vamos a ver. Remember, como noun, is a subject or problem that people are thinking and talking about, issue, como problem. Pero como verbo, o sea, ahí como noun, ¿verdad? Pero como verbo, issue is to produce or provide something official. To produce or provide something official. Sí. I think in the number two. Uh -huh. Así es que we can use issued or given here igual que aquí. We can use given or issued. Okay. We have been issued. That means we have been provided new earplugs. And the last one, have we been issued new helmets? Have we been provided with helmets? Mm -hmm. Those are the, the options. Those are the options that we have. Any questions here? No questions. No question, teacher. Perfect. 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 Bye, boys. Let's go. Vámonos a la última attendance. Okay, Adriana, Sofía. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Ana. No está Ana Grisel. No, yo Yo la vi un ratito, pero quizás tuvo problema. Um, David. I'm David. 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 <laughs> oh. ¿Quién estaba diciendo I am David? Victor. 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 <laughs> Ay, Victor. David present. Diego. Edwin. Ella Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace, Yvonne, present, Jennifer Elizabeth, present, Jessica Lisette, Jose Alberto, present teacher, Karen, Janet, present teacher, Carla Lorena, Present teacher. Dice Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Jailda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Y José Alfredo. Present teacher. Sí. Karen Stephanie. Bueno, have a nice night. Thank have you. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's not thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, Calita.
Hi, Lisa, Dayanara. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello. 